and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Indonesia seeks to revive and boost Bali tourism post-COVID. Indonesia Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy and Wago, the largest online travel marketplace in the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, collaborate to revive tourism to Bali. The all-time favorite destination, Bali, is welcoming tourists in the new norm. Bali is a country of diverse landforms. It has been one of the top honeymoon destinations or holiday spots. Bali has everything for adventure enthusiasts and the solo traveler in search of tranquility, ranging from waterfalls to nightclubs to treks. Through Wago's vast user base in Mina, Indonesia Tourism Board will be able to promote its destination and Bali specifically to drive more bookings. To revive tourism post-COVID, Indonesia has launched an exhibition with the theme, It's Time for Bali. To welcome tourists to the country, Bali offers visa on arrival to 72 countries. Countries from the Middle East like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, UAE, Oman, Bahrain and Kuwait have also been added to this list. Alongside, other nationalities visitors must apply for the B211A visit visa for 60 days. The primary purpose of easing travel to Indonesia is to encourage tourism and attract foreign exchange into the country. Mamoun Medin, Chief Commercial Officer and Managing Director, Middle East, North Africa, MENA, and India of Wago, said, We are expanding our partnerships to cover more destinations and offer our users more choice. Indonesia and particularly Bali is a hot spot for many travelers, especially from the MENA region. We look forward to working with the Indonesia Tourism Board to bring more travelers to the country. According to a recent study, Indonesia is set to welcome over 900,000 tourists by the end of this quarter. The government is helping curb the spread of COVID-19 spread by keeping the highest vaccination rates in Bali and maintaining the standards as per CHSE certifications. Santiago Salahuddin Uno, Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy of the Republic of Indonesia, said, We've been synchronizing or aligning some of our future promotion plans since Bali is still the top of mind of tourists, with a new economic era through digital marketing, it is necessary to innovate in our patterns of promotion. There are several approaches to achieve the target of tourist numbers, namely by joint cooperation with our strategic partners in the market and organizing various international class events in Indonesia. We agree with the approaches that become our programs such as sports tourism, mice, and international events and tourism villages. Tourists can go hiking on Java Island, sit alongside the beach at Gili, or visit the Tana Lot Sea Temple. From ancient temples to modern bars to breathtaking landscapes, Bali offers a unique combination of diverse experiences at once. The island is perfect for those seeking mental relaxation since it is full of affordable yoga and healing centers. While Bali is a popular tourist destination, it has an equal abundance of Balinese people who preserve the culture and uniqueness of the island. Travelers to Indonesia can also explore the Ubud market to purchase handcrafted artsy items made by the locals. Food lovers can also indulge in the goodness of traditional Padang food with dishes like coconut milk cassava and varieties of beef, curry, chicken, and rice. Those who want to visit the peaceful unexplored corners can soak in the beauty of the Darawan Islands in Indonesia. Indonesia will also host the International G20 Summit in Nusa Dua, Bali, in November 2022. The European Union and 19 countries will attend the G20 Summit. The theme of this summit will be, Recover Together, Recover Stronger. The theme will focus on progressing ahead post the COVID-19 world. The discussions will cover important topics like the economy, investment, agriculture, employment, health, taxes, monetary policies, etc. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.